Hi everyone, I'm Joe Mazzalotti, and today we're going to be looking how to make web-based modals look a little bit better and feel a little bit more native on your Hotwire native iOS and Android apps. We'll be using Ruby Friends, which is a iOS and soon-to-be Android app that I'm building to help you keep in touch with friends at you meet at conferences. So once you find someone and scan their QR code or tap their NFC or enter their profile manually, you get their page here. And to add them as a friend, you click this button. Here we're presented with a pretty basic form where we can create a friendship and type some notes in for them. Now, this is a pretty small input and I think it would look a little bit better as a modal. So I'm already using Bootstrap here. So what we can do is in our new profile friendship path, which is that button that we saw there, we can add some data attributes to flesh this out. We can give it the turbo frame that we are rendering the content in. I already have that set up. We can give it then the Bootstrap specific uh, markup here to tell Bootstrap that this is where the modal needs to get presented and where it exists in the DOM. Now, you could obviously replace that with your stimulus controller if you have a custom handler or anything like that. If I go back here and I refresh the page, when I click Add Friend, I now get this bootstrap modal, which I think looks a little bit cleaner than the full screen there. So looking over at iOS, we can see that we have the same page rendered out. And when we click add friend, we get this web based modal here that doesn't look too great. I feel it kind of breaks the, the native barrier here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just delete all of this, right? The, all the stuff that we just wrote, we're going to get rid of it, have no data there and refresh the page. And now when we click add friend, we get this as a modal, right? So how does that happen? How does it know to render it as a modal? Well, in our path configuration down in iOS, we have our patterns of slash new, remember, new profile friend path. So we're matching anything that ends in new and we're giving it the context modal. Nothing custom in my code. That's just how iOS Hotwire Native handles these routes. But then if we go back to our web, we now lose our modal on the web. So we want to do a modal on the web, but not on iOS or Android. So to do that, I like to create something called a helper for modals, a modals helper. And this will be a module modals helper. And we'll just call this modal data. And what we want to return are these three attributes. And we'll pass in modal data here. And the only difference that we're going to make to make this different for iOS or Android is we're going to return an empty hash if Hotwire Native App. Put that and save. When we refresh this page, when we click add friend, we get this as a modal as we expected. On iOS, when we refresh this as well to get the new HTML, add friend presents as a native modal. Um, and then of course on Android, when we go to add the same friend, we get this as a half sheet modal. So three different representations of the same HTML content, uh, customized to the iOS app, the Android app, and then also the, the web here with our bootstrap modal. So that's how to make your iOS and Android app modals feel a little bit more native than your web-based ones. I use this technique all over Ruby Friends, and I find it to just give a little bit of extra appeal to the apps and make them feel just a bit more native. If you're interested in checking out more of Ruby Friends, that URL is rubyfriends.app, where you can play around with the app from the App Store or create a profile and friend me on the platform. I'm Joe Mazzalotti, and this was Hotwire Native Modals. Thanks.